No, I see myself as a, definitely not as a painter, but I see myself mostly as a sculptor, I would, I would say. And I wouldn't say animator because it's just the, it's, it's just the form. But in animation, I can contain everything. I can contain sculpture, painting, um, telling of a story. And I think that that is really what interests me. And I think that in, I like the thing with art that you don't really have to narrow, narrow things down. You don't have to categorize yourself too harshly. Um, well, for me, art is a free zone, so I just see myself as being in that space of art where everything is possible and you can more make your own rules. And I think that that is what I see myself as, like just floating around in that space. So the exhibition is called Maybe This Is A Dream and the major, major work, the animation, is called The Black Pot. And we started talking about it a lot after I'd done visuals for Hans Music and it was excruciating. It took so much time and I couldn't find my way and... But also in that process, sitting down in the basement, out in the nature in Sweden every day, I started understanding something else and I started to become more and more interested in, in the abstract and, uh, and the connection between mundane and super mundane, the bridge between that and, and how when it does it can almost do a complete circle. Uh, so the animation, the black pot, is we are talking about it as kind of like the Big Bang or like when something came into being, like making, making a universe but in a contained space. And at the same time as making this universe out of, out of colors and shapes, at the same time as doing that, also pulling it back to the studio, what happens in the studio, creating something from nothing. And I think that we were very interested in that. And in that also, the music was so important. It was important from the beginning. We were, we were discussing a lot, like, what, what is music? What is it really? Well, we know that it's like sound and sound waves and it exists in the space, but as soon as you hear it, it's already gone. So we would talk a lot about that. on these sculptures as well, which is donuts and eggs. And also going from the mundane to super mundane or the other way around, uh, the silliness of, of donuts. We were talking about like donut shaped cosmos and then just bring it down to the very, very most basic silly level. And the same thing with eggs, like what came first, the chicken or the egg. And then working on it as it was extreme importance. So I think that doing something silly and then putting all your energy into that and how you would present it. And uh, yeah, that's the exhibition. Uh, 
Uh, so for the Black Pot here, uh, the music is quite different from many other films because I think the video work, for me, it's like looking out into the cosmos, I feel. And looking out in the cosmos, you, all, you look inside yourself. When you look out in the big void, you look inside. And uh, the other films, they have more a story and a narration and the music follows or goes, or, or goes against it. But this, I wanted it, the music to have, a, to more be in one place. If you know what I mean, like it's it, it comes the inspiration comes a lot from my techno music that I do also. It's very trancey. It's very simple, just go repeating itself, and it goes up and down a little bit with with the with the film. But it's still. I wanted it to. It's hard to describe, but keep keep you in one point. Sort of a bit like trancey. 